Hi everybody, it's Becky from Harp Strings and Wings, and this video is all about Septiembre Favoritos. Um, I guess I've been watching a lot of Breaking Bad lately. <laughs> yeah, oh, what's this? Did I just get a text? Pollos? Yeah, if you get that, you know you, you watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> Let's get started right into uh, this month's favorites. I don't have a lot, um, but at the end of this video, stay tuned because I am going to show you um, my art desk area and you'll get a little sneak peek into that. All right, every time I use this shaver, it's the Lady Chic um, shaver here. This is what the head looks like. Um, it's like every time I was in the shower using it, it was like, please list me in your favorites. <laughs> so. Yeah, my shaver talks to me. Uh, yeah, but I've always been the type to use like a Mach 35, you know, like men's shaver, like with whatever, how many blades they have. But uh, I've never really liked women's shavers and um, till I got this. And so this has definitely been on my favorites. And, uh, but now we're just in time for us not to really worry about shaving so much anymore, right? Yay. And this is the Eco Tools powder brush. And uh, you can see it's kind of like a tapered brush here at the top. And um, I was worried about getting large brushes because I don't find that I can use them as well with the control. But the way this works is it like tapers so nicely, like, you know, under your skin and different areas like that, that I felt like I did have the control with this. And it I really have... has given me a nice, like flawless powder finish. The next item I picked up at Target and it's the Pacifica eyeliner and this is in, you can see there, Gunmetal, I believe is the name. And I just absolutely love this this month. Um, I think I'm just going to love it every month really. Uh, it's not really picking it up here but it, it does more of like a shimmer and I'm wearing it here you can see on my eyes and I've, I've started wearing it under my eye to give a little bit more of a smoky effect love this stuff it's just it goes on really creamy and you don't have to really tug or anything and for the price I you know because I was like oh my gosh you know I think it was like $11 or something and that's just that um it's a little on the high side for just an eyeliner for me personally but um I think it's worth it absolutely worth it every time I reached for this I'm like yep it was worth the price okay uh the next items are going to be tea related and uh this you might have seen in Oksana's um a video she talked about the new me um, collection and it has like a sort of assorted teas in here and this was a great way for me to try out all of the different kind of new me things though I haven't tried them all obviously I still have to work through these and I'm avoiding the ones with caffeine which is pretty much like all of them but um, I can only have I shouldn't even be having caffeine because it's a migraine trigger for me but um, I've been having them when I feel like I can handle it or testing it out and um, I use I'd probably give the high caffeine ones away, but um, the flavor, I already found two flavors in here that I just have loved and I want to buy the full size boxes. And that is the um, white rose, which I do not like the smell of roses. I know I'm weird. I must come from a weird, strange like universe where like roses are like an allergy or something, but I really, roses give me like headaches. It's strange. I love roses and their beauty but I thought I would really not like enjoy like rose perfume bleh, that's just out for me but um I thought I would not enjoy a rose tea because of its rosiness <laughs> but I do love the rose tea and this it was just a nice subtle flavor and yeah I don't know I just really liked it and then this the chocolate tea okay Let's talk about this chocolate tea. You guys have probably seen and talked about a lot now. But the chocolate tea saved me from, like I haven't introduced chocolate back into my diets to see how I digestively do it with it yet. But the chocolate tea saved me. Like this last month I was craving it so much and I had one cup of the chocolate tea and I was good. It, that's all it took. It was that um, flavorful and I felt like I was indulging and it was a cup of tea. It was awesome. Okay, the next uh, tea I wanna talk about is the Xena's Gypsy Tea and this is in Pumpkin Spice. And I have tried this now for two seasons and uh, I just really like this. I saw secondhand Sweetness Cherie talk about her Xena tea, the chai coconut 
tea, which I haven't tried yet. But um, I didn't realize because I guess I had picked this up before really caring about organic tea and things like that. But yeah, this is organic and the eco-friendly tea sachets they have and it's fair trade certified and i was like oh yay <laughs> you know i have this already um and i it's not the most uh, cheap tea that's for sure because you know you're paying for those higher quality things but i have always loved this tea even before i realized i was buying you know organic and fair trade and that sort of thing so yeah uh, definitely give this uh brand a, a try and this is perfect for fall okay two youtube channels that I've been loving this month are art channels. Um, and if you like to watch speed painting, because I did like one speed painting video, which wasn't very speedy, but <laughs> I'm gonna try to improve that in the future. But um, so two channels I've been liking are Kimmy Cookies and Art at Fadil. And I'll put their links below in the description box. And if you just love to just watch people paint or draw fast to good music, those are two really good channels. And I just, I just find it kind of like meditative. It's it's very relaxing and I enjoy their techniques and they use um, a lot of the same art um, uh, media that I do like colored pencil and pen and that sort of thing okay two shows I've been loving this month are of course Breaking Bad because my husband got me back into watching that um, and then um, okay this next show is awesome it's called Outlander and I think it's be it's featured on stars and uh, I'll try to insert like a trailer or maybe some more information in the description box where you can see a little bit more about the show. But if you like Scottish Highlands romance with the lairds and the lassies and uh, you know, like there was even, like they featured the harp in, in, in one of the episodes. Um, if you like romance, that sort of thing. Oh, and also time travel and druids and that sort of thing, you're gonna love this show. It's great. I think. Uh, they just had episode seven or eight this last um, weekend, and yeah, I just, it's it's such an awesome show. Girls, you gotta check it out. And guys too, my husband likes it, so yeah. Okay, well, that's really it um, for my September, September favoritos. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my art desk because art has definitely been what I have been into, back into this month, and um, I have, an art zazzle shop and on my website I feature a little more of my pictures of my art that I'd love for you to check out if you'd like um, to see more um, but right now I'm gonna show you my art desk Hey everybody so here is my art desk and it is not exactly organized the best right now um, but you know sometimes creativity does not wait for organization but here we have um, the colored pencils I love to use. I could, I always feel like I need more, you know, because more colors, just like makeup. And uh, these are my Prismacolor uh, permanent markers. And then here I've got my like color chart for my markers. This is a, uh, these paintings I'm featuring here are all ones I did this month. So this one's called Fall is in the Air. This is the speed painting um, Halloween elephant I did. And this is a, uh, I think it's, she's called the Hallowed Witch. <laughs> I always forget like what I named these, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so there she is. And then I wanted to feature also this as an art favorite, um, this artist's loft pen. It's called a colored pencil blender and it basically is, um, oops, sorry, I'm trying to film with holding the camera, but oh well, I can't, maybe you can see in there the tip. It's just like a tip and you can blend out colored pencil. So it looks like this and it looks a lot smoother. So for those artists out there that might be interested in that and they traditionally, traditionally use alcohol um, or maybe a cotton pad to blend out the colored pencil, this is actually really nice for the fine details and those areas. So I really enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, so I've also like decided to decorate my wall and this, this whole wall is going to grow with more... Um, you know, paintings as I go along. But this is a coloring page from Joanne Shimp and I colored uh, this fairy and I liked how it came out. This is um, an art piece that my sister did. That's from Renee Taylor when I went to the fairy con last year. That's Jessica Galbraith and this is a wall tile. And this is um, another one from Joanne Shimp and I thought it was good for October, isn't it pretty? And then I got a signed print from Aaron Pocock who also has a channel here. And I, um, I uh, 
helped fund one of his illustration books on Kickstarter. So he sent me that art print as a thank you. So yeah, those are just some of the um, paintings I have to feature my, my sketchbook. So here's some sketches I'm working on. Got some mermaids and some fairies and all kinds of ideas in here. All that, all those illustrations. Yeah, so anyway, those are my ideas and hopefully I'll be putting more on paper. Have a great rest of your September and I can't believe October is here and hopefully in the future I'll have um, maybe another video coming up about talking about my diet and how it's, that's shifting and changing. And then I will be talking about, oh yeah, I'll probably do like a fall like home decor tour even though I am not like a great decorator or anything, but I'll just show what I have, you know, like decorated around the house because you know that's fun and whatever <laughs> all right thanks for joining me bye guys